Hey, what's up, guys? It's Welcome to the FC, and that was your play of the day. That was Griffiths' goal, which I thought was absolutely magnificent. I've improved the graphics a little bit. Just a little nudge and touch there. Just like change one or two things. I was gonna go for a red and black theme at first, and then I was like, mm, no. Uh, I wanted to change it around. And I thought let's not change it abruptly. Let's just change certain elements, like latest news parts that you changed. That's now red. We got DSG live in the bottom left hand corner. Um, if you wanna know what that's from, that is actually from live stream. So yeah, for people who's actually been in my live stream, worthy quiff hashtag on Twitter. Be sure to listen in, guys on my live streams, I usually stream every Thursdays and Sundays right now, uh, I appreciate if you actually popped in, you don't have to of course, I play some FIFA, usually usually try to get the um, subs involved so we do play quite a lot of clubs, so that's a little plug for my live stream we channel, we're very close to a thousand followers, so that's pretty awesome, but Movoto, the man of the hour, always scores an own goal, he scores an own goal, very unfortunate, I want to say thank you very much for voting for young player of the year, and also player of the year, and um, player of the year is very close young player of the year completely stormed by one particular player if you are yet to vote go ahead and comment on the previous video um the it's a clear one on young but if you want to get a decisive vote on the player of the season be sure to do that there are a few more awards uh, we have got also young player um, we do have um, the player of the year. We do have managers player. Um, so basically, this is me voting for a player which I think stood out. He, who, obviously, from my opinion, that he does stuff on the fit pitch which you may not see in the highlights. So it kind of gives a extra one as well. Um, we also got um, play of the year as well. So instead of player of the day, we got player of the year. So out of the best plays of the days, you actually pick one. So if you remember one. Um, or whatnot, or if you want to go back and watch a few player of the days, be sure to go ahead. I'll have a look myself and decide one. If you go one in the comments right now, post in the comments. Um, and also we got, um, I think it was a goal of the year as well. So I'll be picking that one. Uh, just a random goal. Doesn't necessarily have to be one of our player of the days. It's just going to be a goal that we scored. And I thought was amazing. What's good with the player of the day? With player of the year, in my opinion, is that you can have goal line clearances and stuff like that in there. Because remember that one with Movoto scored? Yeah, we kind of got that on there. That's a pretty good attempt. If you if you want to get check it out, go check it out. So yeah, I want to mention as well. I have finished the season. Uh, I started season two at uh, three. A little bit ahead of you, so uh, yeah, and anyway, it's going to be good. This is going to be one hell of a heated run to the end. So we did end up uh, beating Red in. I thought I mentioned the game froze, like the recording capture module. So if you've seen a screenshot straight after, and it was 3-3, and we ended up winning 4-3. We did score an absolutely brilliant free kick. Um, it was, I was very surprised how actually well we done it, and I was very chuffed from the actual lads that they actually scored it anyway. But anyway, Griffith scored that goal, and we are going to our next game. Which is against Coventry, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Coventry, oh, I think they need enough bottom of the table. So if we can pick up a vital three points in this game, it'll help us out, of course, um, when we come to the closing stages. Because um, I think there's one more episode after this, and that's it. We call it the wrap. I think there's two games in our episode, and there's a lot of the awards ceremony type stuff. So, yeah, I am very looking forward to it. I like doing all these awards type things. I did it last year for FIFA 12, but I never really pursued it for every season. I just did it because Aston Villa... One was quite a big uh, chunk of my career. So, yeah, and we're going to have one at the end of every year, hopefully, on uh, this one. If I remember, uh, you need to remember. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, as well, guys, we are getting close. And we are currently second in the league, of course, as a lot of you already know. Um, I want to know, any of your predictions getting right? Or did you predict second? Did you predict me to get promoted and stuff? Be sure to go back to episode, uh, I think it's like episode 3 or something I asked you guys. And uh, yeah, be sure to go check it out and see if you were actually doing well. You on course. I might next time, like, uh, go check. I might check back actually and see who actually got right. And you may get a shout out at the very end of the final episode. See if I got right or not. But anyway, um, we do end up scoring with Ali, who hasn't been playing very well recently. Um, he did score a very good goal. So you'll be able to see a uh, little uh, side uh, notification come up in the next part saying Ali but your ideas up or well, you will be sold because Ali is quite a young player he's only like 21 something like that and uh, if we can sell him we can at least sell him for a good uh, uh, 8, 9, uh, 10 million I would think if, uh, if I'm totally honest and that beneficial for us um, will be s tremendous in my opinion anyway but anyway Blasi here guys is setting the mark for all the Mathletics he's getting goals he's actually got 30 goals 
um, in total now in all competitions from the end, like from friendlies and stuff like that. So he is actually playing amazing, only 18 years old as well. So he is going to grow pretty well. You'll be able to see, um, oh no, actually, um, I forgot to actually record the end of month report um, for the end of the season. So you'd see it at the start of season two, three. Um, he's actually growing now recently to 81 rated. He's actually 80, 80 rated in this particular game. He grow, he is growing phenomenally. I can imagine him going up to like a 90 rated player. And if he does that, we are going to make some serious dollar on him. Like um, As well, I found another god on Karimo. But anyway, we are playing Middlesbrough in this particular game. We do a per through ball now to slew for some reason EA kind of glitches up when you but when a player's on loan uh, already at the team um, he isn't actually um, what do you call it <laughs> he he doesn't go back in the first season for some reason he goes back at the end of the second season which is very bizarre in my opinion but anyway we almost had another um, black man issue if you don't know what I'm on about this is the Chelsea game that we played and the goalkeeper's got black man I am being racist or anything but um, it, it, they, they passed the ball back to the keeper and he ended up almost missing it which was very comical um, but anyway we still won the lap and a brilliant save from Michael who is almost maxed out as well I believe he's 76 rated he is a lot of our players are going very well recently because we have um, played out of our skins I would say we are achieving expectations because we obviously was avoid relegation we had to finish mid table anyway because I obviously requested for some more funds um, but uh, anyway they, they're improving very well and Griffiths is improving as well he's up in the 80s now which is brilliant to see so yeah this side you wait till you see that end of month report at the start of season 3 it's going to be phenomenal in my opinion oh it's brilliant but anyway Crofty does end up making it too well in 79th minute but anyway McDonald ended up for us today and 81st minute does make it too too very unfortunate for us to concede that um, we got a very issue I think we need to like, consider buying a centre back um, in the uh, new season, definitely. I think that's our weak point. We do have a, two very strong centre backs who grow pretty well. Movoto's good, but the other guy really isn't. I think it's Milanov. I think Milanov. I think he's Russian. Um, but anyway, that's the end of the episode, guys. Um, on the video today, I've got a future game for the new series that I recently started Best Career Players. You may have seen Movoto started off the season in episode one. But anyway, guys, I'd like to say thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop the video a like. I'd be highly appreciated. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Washington. Out.